broken his commandments? You say, well, I don't know that I've broken any commandments. You just broke one saying that. <laughs> because the Bible says you shall not lie, and you know you've broken them. But being a sinner doesn't just mean breaking a commandment. It means falling short of a standard. I fall short of God's glory. So just own it. Admit it. You're a sinner. But number two, realize that Christ died on the cross for you. Because there was no other way to put you in contact with a God that you and I have sinned against. Jesus died in our place. Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone was uniquely qualified to bridge the gap between a holy, perfect God and sinful, wicked humanity. With one hand, he took hold of humanity. God. We've broken his commandments. 
He said, well, I don't know that I've broken any commandments. You just broke one saying that. <laughs> because the Bible says you shall not lie, and you know you've broken them. But being a sinner doesn't just mean breaking a commandment. It means falling short of a standard. I fall short of God's glory. So just own it. Admit it. You're a sinner. But number two, realize that Christ died on the cross for you. Because there was no other way to put you in contact with a God that you and I have sinned against. Jesus died in our place. Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone was uniquely qualified to bridge the gap between a holy, perfect God and sinful, wicked humanity. With one hand, he took hold of humanity. With sin of all humanity. Your sin, Steve. My sin. Everything we've ever done. I remember this one verse that someone shared with me one day. They said, everything that we've done in the dark is going to be heard in the light. And everything that we've whispered in the inner room will be proclaimed on the housetops of heaven one day. And when I heard that, I was so moved inside because I'm thinking, man, if I have to stand before God and give an account of everything that's happened in my life, I'm in deep trouble. I'm thinking, what's going to happen to a person like me? I mean, I've, I've sinned. I've done things that are wrong. I'm guilty. God loves L.A. KKLA FM, Los Angeles. Here's, uh, here he is on the radio. Schwarzenegger said, I've always been extremely angry about the idea of death. That's such a waste. I know it's inevitable. But what is this all about? You work your whole life. You try to improve yourself. You save money. You invest wisely. And all of a sudden, poof, it's over. Yes, it is. Eventually, even Arnold Schwarzenegger will have to say, hasta la vista, baby. And he will not be able to say... Heading to the Harvest Crusade here in Anaheim, Anaheim Angel Stadium. We began with our prayers for the Anaheim police. When I first came here, and they've always been kind of kind of prickly police to deal with, a little bit cocky. So we first of all pray for them, and their attitude. Second, we start to pray for people to come to Christ here at Harvest Crusade. I'm always hoping that the crusade is in accordance with God's will. A lot of people, yes, but quantity doesn't always mean quality. We pray that this is according to your will, Lord, and then we embrace it support it.
suicide. Some of them are uh, succeeding. It's a sad thing. Demi Lovato recently overdosed on drugs. Here's a beautiful, talented, successful young girl, only 24 years old. She used to be a Disney star. She'd been sober for six years, but she relapsed and she overdosed and paramedics were called to her home and they found her unconscious. They saved her with Narcon, an emergency drug that treats opioid addiction. Thankfully, she's still alive, and I hope she gets better, and most importantly, I hope she comes to Jesus Christ, because that's what Demi Lovato needs. Yeah. 